Five key takeaways from Keir Starmer's AI Opportunities Action Plan. By 2030, the government will build a supercomputer with enough AI power to play itself at chess half a million times a second. This will boost the UK's AI computing power under public control 20-fold. The UK's first ever AI growth zone will be set up. The government will create AI growth zones by giving expedited approval process for the building of data centers in certain areas. The first AI growth zone will be in Cullum, Oxfordshire. Further AI growth zones will be set up and confirmed by summer 2025. The government plans to rapidly pilot AI-powered services in the public sector, with the aim to drive better experiences for citizens as well as boosting productivity. Examples of public sector AI use include helping teachers prepare for lessons and using AI-enhanced road cameras to spot potholes. The government will develop a national data library. This library will be comprised of state-controlled data that will be made available to researchers and companies. Keir Starmer signaled that a vast trove of health data controlled by the NHS would be a candidate for this library. And finally, 14 billion will be invested by private companies, creating an estimated 13,250 jobs. Vantage data centers will invest 12 billion pounds to build data centers across the UK. Kindra will invest in a new tech hub in Liverpool that will create up to 1,000 AI-related jobs. And Nscale will invest $2.5 billion to support the UK's data centre infrastructure. They'll build the largest UK sovereign AI data centre in Lawton, Essex. For the latest tech insights, visit ian360tech.com.